What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be going over 7 cancelled Star Wars games that unfortunately never saw the light of day. As I'm sure we all know by now, Disney purchased Lucasfilm in late 2012 and with that came what I guess you would say is the new era of Star Wars. Unfortunately with that acquisition though, there were multiple games that got scrapped in the process of being made, simply because of the fact that a new company was taking over and not everything would be staying the same. Now not all of these games were cancelled during that time, many of them were cancelled between then and now and even some were cancelled before that, but regardless of when or why they were cancelled, we are going to be taking a quick look at each of them today for those of you who haven't heard about these games before. If you end up enjoying the video guys, then be sure to leave a like down below and feel free to subscribe to the channel with those notifications on. With that out of the way though guys, let's get stuck right into it. Now the first game that I'm going to mention, and these are in no particular order, is the third instalment for Knights of the Old Republic, more commonly known as KOTOR. I'm sure most of you already know that this is without a doubt one of the most loved and highly praised sub-franchises within Star Wars. It's one of those games that you just rarely ever hear a bad thing about simply because of how much people love this game from their childhood. The first two games came out in 2003 and 2004 and the third game was supposedly starting development in 2004 as well, so it seems as though they were excited to get straight back into making the third instalment. Unfortunately for us, LucasArts was apparently in a bit of financial hardship at the time and as much as they wanted to continue development, it was unfortunately scrapped not that far into the pre-production stage of development. It would have been awesome to get a third instalment into the KOTOR franchise, I know that pretty much everyone seems to love those games a lot, but unfortunately it never happened. Now with that being said, there have been some pretty heavy rumours lately about a KOTOR 3 being made right now, with some fairly credible sources being the ones to say that, so I guess we'll have to wait and see, but there is a chance that the third game could eventually still happen. Moving on, the next cancelled game is Jedi Knight 3 The Brink of Darkness, which is once again another instalment into a very popular franchise that unfortunately just never saw the light of day. The Jedi Knight series was a super popular series in the early 2000s, originally being called Star Wars Dark Forces, then evolving into Star Wars Jedi Knight. The franchise predominantly told the story of Kyle Katarn, a character who started out as a mercenary, learning the ways of the Force throughout the series and eventually becoming a Jedi Master. Now, after after Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast was released, there was another installment into the series called Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. And with that, the third Jedi Knight game was reportedly cancelled as the franchise spun off into the Jedi Academy series. Moving on, we have another absolute fan favourite series known as The Force Unleashed, which apparently did have a third title in production that was unfortunately cancelled during the Disney takeover. The first Force Unleashed game is widely seen as one of, if not the best Star Wars game of all time, being absolutely loved by the Star Wars gaming community, and much like KOTOR, it's very rare to actually hear anyone speak ill of this game at all. Now, as for the second entry into the franchise though, you will often hear a lot of critiques and negativity surrounding the sequel, and to be honest, rightly so. The game was still really solid, but it had nothing on the original, and a lot of people were left with a bit of a sour taste in their mouth after the second game came out, at which point it kinda seemed like the series was over. The future didn't seem so bright for the Force Unleashed series, however, surprisingly enough they were apparently working on a third instalment to the series right before the time of the Disney acquisition, and unfortunately due to the second game not performing as well as they would have liked, the third was eventually cancelled as well due to the takeover. The Force Unleashed 3 was supposedly going to take place in a much larger open world, and according to one of the writers of the game, there was apparently a Boba Fett and Darth Vader team up involved in there as well, which makes it all the more heartbreaking that this game never saw the light of day. Now, another game that was cancelled prior to the Disney acquisition was Battle of the Sith Lords, which for me is probably the most interesting game on this whole list and could be the one that I wanted to see the most. Battle of the Sith Lords was focused around Darth Maul and Darth Talon, who were working together to destroy Darth Krayt and his Sith army. The timeline doesn't really match up here as Darth Talon lived over 100 years after Maul was killed, so it definitely seemed a little bit odd, but there is actually an explanation for this. George Lucas sat down with the development company known as Red Fly, and he mentioned that he would love to see the game focus on Maul and Talon working together. Now, George Lucas didn't actually create Darth Talon, she was a Legends character and so obviously it is understandable that he wouldn't know every detail about her. The developers at Redfly apparently mentioned that those two working together wouldn't match up in the timeline and so George Lucas apparently said that it could be either a descendant of Maul or actually be a clone of Maul, 
but either way he wanted to see those two working together so it's definitely a pretty interesting backstory. Unfortunately with rumours of Lucas selling Lucasfilm to Disney, the game entered muddy waters during 2011 and was essentially cancelled due to the uncertainty of Star Wars' future. Now moving on we have one of the more popular or I guess fresh games that was cancelled as this one was only in 2017 and this was Amy Hennig's Star Wars game known by the working title of Project Ragtag. Now Amy Hennig was the creator of the Uncharted series which I'm sure most of you know is one of the biggest and most popular exclusives on PlayStation and it's one of the more critically acclaimed series in recent history. Hennig was apparently the lead on this game as well which was a third person action adventure game not so different from Uncharted about a large scale heist taking place in the wake of the events of A New Hope. The game was being developed by Visceral Games along with some help from Motive and EA Vancouver apparently, however unfortunately in October of 2017, only one month before Battlefront 2 was released, EA shut down Visceral Games. Now apparently upon shutting down Visceral Games, Ragtag was actually not cancelled right away, instead it was handed over to EA Vancouver to essentially revamp the gameplay and take it from a story driven linear type of game into more of an open world game, however the game unfortunately was still cancelled eventually as progress apparently stalled after the changeover. Now moving on we have possibly one of the more well known and disappointing cancellations within Star Wars with this one being Star Wars 1313. 1313 was a game focused around an unknown bounty hunter who would then eventually be killed off at some point in the game by Boba Fett who we would have played as for the remainder of the game while he was apparently uncovering a criminal conspiracy on Coruscant. The game was reportedly set to show off some of the darker, more underbelly side to Coruscant that we often see throughout the Clone Wars, with the title 1313 revolving around level 1313 on Coruscant's underworld. We actually see level 1313 in 5 or 6 different episodes of the Clone Wars, many of which were actually in the final season where Ahsoka was on the run in the lower levels of Coruscant. Now once again during the Disney acquisition, the game apparently stalled in its progress and with that Disney decided that it was no longer profitable, at which point they unfortunately cancelled it. They have mentioned multiple times now that they are still looking at the Coruscant underworld and that it's not impossible that we might see some content set in that time at some point in the future but honestly I am not holding on too much hope. Now the last and definitely most disappointing cancellation in my opinion is the cancellation of Star Wars Battlefront 3. Despite the first two installments being extremely well received and arguably some of the most loved Star Wars games of all time, Battlefront 3 never saw the light of day despite being worked on for over two years. Like I mentioned earlier with KOTOR 3, LucasArts at the time were currently in the midst of some financial hardship and this is apparently the main reason as to why Battlefront 3 was never made. The reports on the actual reason are conflicting with some LucasArts developers mentioning that LucasArts didn't want to pay for the marketing while other sources say that it was actually the developers constantly missing deadlines and being too far behind schedule. So I guess we may never know the actual reason why the game was cancelled. It definitely seems as though there is a curse in the Star Wars gaming universe when it comes to the number 3 as Jedi Knight 3, KOTOR 3 and Battlefront 3 all never saw the light of day and even right now we're unsure if the rebooted current Battlefront 3 will ever happen either. It's definitely sad to see so many Star Wars games being cancelled over the years, it feels like for every great Star Wars game that we've been given there's also been a disappointing cancellation along the way as well and some of the games on this list along with many others that I haven't mentioned seem to have a hell of a lot of potential to be amazing. With that being said we do know that the Star Wars license is now going to be opened up again moving forward from 2023 and hopefully this can places into a whole new era of Star Wars gaming, hopefully healing some of the wounds left on us by some of these cancellations over the years. Leave a comment down below letting me know which of these games you wanted to see the most. For me personally it would be between Battlefront 3, Battle of the Sith Lords or 1313 but honestly I wish we got every single one of them. That is going to do it for this one though guys, if you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching, you guys have a great day and I'll catch all in the next one.